All right, going to do a video further showing the fact that the automatic Jewish lobby is against an enemy of freedom of speech. This was an uh, instance over in Australia. This happened back in 2014, but it's still relevant today to the fact that they've still continued this this campaign, this, this you know years-long campaign of attacking and trying to silence freedom of speech, and you know coming up with all these strong mind arguments of. Free, you know, uh, criticism of Judaism and then being linked with, oh, you know, rising criticism of Judaism is now somehow in a par with, you know, Nazi Germany or something like that, which, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll come across that when you criticize Judaism. But this happened back in 2014. It says on the uh, Jewish Telegraph Agency, Australian Jewish leaders decry proposed changes to hate laws. Yeah. And the problem with that, too, is that, you know, criticism is now all of a sudden hate speech. You know, we can't engage in any kind of meaningful discussion. The ironic thing about that is that it actually would be the Nazis who would be the biggest proponents of censoring speech they don't like. So the Talmudic Jewish lobby is actually using Nazi tactics to essentially do what they've done since the days of the early church in the book of Acts, since the days of Jesus Christ in the, in the uh, four gospels, which is to censor freedom of speech. You see examples of that, for example, in John 10, John chapter 5, John chapter 8, uh, many examples where they tried to censor freedom of speech, you know, tried to censor Jesus from talking. But says here on the article, Jewish leaders in Australia slammed the federal government's proposed amendments to the nation's race hate laws. On Tuesday, the Liberal government unveiled a draft on the legislation to amend laws that have existed for almost 20 years. The laws have been used successfully by the Executive Council of Australian Jewry to litigate against Holocaust deniers, religious extremists, and anti Semites. Yeah because they're against freedom of speech. And then criticism of Judaism would now be, you know, I'd be called a religious extremist because, you know, I criticize the false, you know, the blasphemous false religion of Judaism and their blasphemous Babylonian Talmud. Bit of a problem when you want to live in a free country but don't like the idea of free, uh, the right to speak freely. It says here in the article, under the proposed changes to the Racial Discrimination Act, it would no longer be illegal to offend, insult, or humiliate an Australian because of his race or ethnicity. It would, however, be illegal to vilify or intimidate someone based on his race and ethnicity. I need to point this out as well. Uh, Judaism is a religion, okay? There is racial Israel, but when I criticize Judaism, I'm criticizing it religiously, okay? I'm going after Judaism as a religion. So calling me an anti-Semite would be ridiculous because last time I checked, what race is Judaism? What race is the religion of Judaism? You know? Yeah. And when I refer to, to racial Israel, I'll always just make that distinction. I'll say, yeah, I'm referring to racial Israel. When I criticize, you know, criticize Jews, I'm criticizing religious, you know, religious Judaism. I'm not criticizing racial Israel. But, of course, they, they, they'll lump me in with all kinds of other stuff. You know, they'll, they'll lump me in, you know, see, again, if you criticize Judaism, you're now some kind of neo-Nazi Hitler 2.0 or whatever. They do it to try to shut down any kind of discussion and exchange of ideas. And, ex and also just the right to, you know, live in a free society and express yourself. But continuing on the article, uh, Robert Goot, president of the Executive Council of Australian Jewry, said the draft law was deeply flawed and rips of key protection for ethnic groups in Australia. Uh, protection. Uh, how about the, the protection of your freedoms and the right to speak freely? See, there's a, there's a saying by one of the American founders. Uh, and I'm not American, but I just like using this quote. If you're willing to give up freedom for so-called safety and security, uh, you don't deserve either one. Plain and simple. Okay, freedom, the right to speak freely, trumps any kind of so-called protections. Which, by the way, what do you, why do you need protection from words? You know, it's a bunch of garbage. I mean, unless it's outright calls for violence, why do you want protection from people saying words? <laughs> Whatever. But continuing on in the article, it says, This legislation gives the green light to unleashing racial hate speech in Australia, no matter how unreasonable and lacking in good faith, he said. Well, again, what race is Judaism? I'd like to ask that. See, because they're lumping all that in together. Uh, Dr. Colin Rubenstein of the Australia, Israel, and Jewish Affairs Council said, quote, to pass the amendments as they stand would risk emboldening racists, threatening the quality of life for ethnic minorities in Australia, and seriously straining the fabric of our social cohesion and harmony. Um, what, what, what holds a society together is freedom and liberty, and the right to speak freely is part of that. See, again... Were, they're against freedom of speech, which is rather ironic because it was the Nazis who would try to censor speech they don't like. They're using Nazi tactics to, to fight, you know, Nazis, which they just lump anybody who criticizes Judaism as Nazi. So how, how, just oh the irony, you know what I mean? Just oh all that irony, using Nazi tactics to 
it's no different than when Antifa will use essentially fascist tactics of censorship to quote unquote fight fascism. Yeah. I said that on Tuesday, Prime Minister Tony Abbott defended the changes in Parliament. Yeah, exactly, because it's part of living in a free society. You don't like it, then just go to Israel. You know, well, there, well, there is no freedom of speech, unfortunately. So, I wanted to point that out. They've continually, the, the Talmudic lobby has continually shown time and time again that they just do not, do not like freedom of speech. They're every bit as much as against freedom of speech as you would find in Nazi Germany. You can call me hateful for making that connection, but... Facts don't care about your feelings. It was the Nazis who would try to censor speech they don't like. They're doing the exact same thing, the Talmudic lobby, that is. So, I wanted to point that out. Again, they tried to censor the speech of Jesus Christ. In John 8, John 10, John 5, you name it. There's, there's many, many scriptures where they tried to pull this thing off. That's the thing. Judaism is satanic, and I, I make no bones about that. If you don't like that, then you know, go watch something else. But free speech is part of living in a free society. And if you don't like that, then that's your problem. But don't, but don't try to make everyone else you know, conform to some little safe space you want your country to be. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.